So Brian. Yes, sir. Why do you have uh, such hefty locks on this box? What's in there? So this is a DJI M210 Matrice Enterprise unit with some thermal cameras on it. And that's the reason for the locks because uh, it's probably the most expensive thing that goes in a GPC case. Well, I gotta tell you, I, I can't wait to GPC what's in there. <laughs> Don't let me hanging. Come on, man, pound it. There you go. Oh, nice. Woo. Look at that thing. That's serious. We're not fooling around anymore, man. Nah, playtime's over because that's from <laughs> Jupiter. Woo. What's a diddle doodly fart on the top there? That's actually a strobe light. Ah. So that way I can get those three nautical mile of visual sight. Right. From other aircraft after dark. Yeah. All right, we'll be back in about 35 minutes after he's putting it together. What a beast. FPV, forward sensing, dual gimbal. Yeah. Oh, so wait. one side is the FLIR and the other side is the regular upward, camera. Upward sensor. Upward sensor. You hear that DJI? Put upward sensors in all your stuff. All your stuff. Downward sonar. Uh-huh. Are these the same batteries for the Inspire 2? They are TB50s. Okay. These are TB55s. Are, are these the ones that have been having that issue? They, um, the, the TB55s have been having the issue. Uh -huh. Some TB50s, depending on the manufacture date. Okay. But these are all updated. They're good to go. Okay, and what about um, the warming feature? How do you activate that? I know you know how to do it. You hold the thing down, do you know how to do it? Yep. You hold it down. You hold it down and you see how it's alternating? Uh-huh. It's in heating mode now. Okay. And this battery will warm up and then you can put them in your pockets when it's cold outside and you don't have on a jacket. <laughs> and then uh, warm can, up. can you cancel the heating mode? You can by pressing and holding and now the heating is canceled. So what happens is you activate the heating thing if, on a cold day and then you stop it just before you fly? Or does it do it automatically? It does it automatically when you put it in the drone. But when they're in the case and they're on standby, that's how that works. Okay, so just before you go out on a cold day, you get them warmed up. When you're getting ready to fly. And as soon as you put them in the drone, then it automatically stops. There you go. I didn't know that. What kind of controller is that? It's a Sendence controller. That's what I thought it was. And I'm getting ready to put a Crystal Sky Ultra Hybrid on top of it. Cool, man. And you got all the gizmos. I'm totally jelly. What do you think, Mel? I don't get paid to think, Ken. Okay. What are you getting ready to do? Okay, so on the dual gimbal setup, you have gimbal one and gimbal two down here. Uh -huh. The M210 also is capable of placing a gimbal up here on the top, and what you'll do is you'll run a jumper wire from the gimbal two up to the top gimbal, so basically you're just relocating gimbal number two. Okay. So now I'm going to take the caps off. And I'm going to place the X4S RGB in gimbal number one. All right. And that's the regular camera. Yes, this is the color camera. Color camera. All and right. the micro SD card for that camera goes in the drone. I see. Now, for the thermal camera, you oh. have to have the little adapter. Adapter, okay. Adapter plate. Because Zenmuse. Can I, can I touch it? You can. Oh! You feel the burn? Careful. Oh! You feel the burn? Oh! <laughs> So the SD card goes directly into the into the XT FLIR camera. Yeah. And that's made by FLIR? Yes. I mean Zenmuse XT. Yeah. By so FLIR. FLIR got with DJI and made this. Correct. What a good pairing. Now would this fit on the Inspire 2? Well, the Inspire 2 won't understand it. it okay. It will fit. But if you notice, there's two different fittings here. This goes on an Inspire 1. Uh-huh. So you can put these on any Inspire 1. Right. Version 1 or 2. Uh-huh. This is what you have to have in order to connect this to the XT. Connect it to the XT. Oh. And then you connect it to the M210. How much is that little doodad? $250. They get you, don't they get you? They get you, don't they, Mel? They get you. I'm going to zoom into your beard. Is that all right? We're going in. We're going in. Ladies and gentlemen, we're in Mel's beard. How does it feel? Oh man, this is great! How was that for you? 
Reserve comment. <laughs> How are the props going on this thing? Well, they have a nice little lock. Let me see the there. bottom of the... Oh, okay. It's got four locks so instead of two like the... Push it down the lock. Yeah. The oh, neat. Can, can I pick it up? Yes, you can. <gasps> you trust me? Go ahead. Oh, wow. It's a little heavier than I thought it would be. How much does it weigh? About eight pounds. Eight pounds. Eight pounds of gear in the air. And how many dollars? 30,000. Oh, I'm putting it back down. <laughs> there you go. Thanks a lot. That was magic. 30 grand rise. Wow, 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 wow. So, uh, what you can do with $30,000 worth of clear equipment is That's awesome. All right, can you see, uh, you can see this. Oh yeah, you can see the cold. So this is my hand and it's warm. This is my hand holding ice. And this is me dumping ice out of the ground. <laughs> That's so cool, man. What hand did I hold the ice in? <laughs> That's awesome! That's awesome! Kids, please don't try this at home. All right, ready? Oh man, that's so cool! <laughs> so are we gonna visit the water tower now? Yeah, we'll go check it out. All right. So you can okay. obviously see it is a little colder yeah. than the rest of everything else. And that's just because of the metal, not because of the water in it. Well, do you see how the steel structure, oh, yeah. the you pipe can... that goes down the center is actually colder? You can see the water level perhaps. That's the water level. That's the water level inside of it. So the city of Brownsville could get one of these things and tell if uh, they have a leak or if it's full. Or what their water level is. Yeah. But I'm sure it has probably I'm a, sure it's got uh, a gizmo in gizmo there. Gizmo up there. And it says, <laughs> this is kind of a long uh, a way around to do it, but a cool way to do it, certainly. But we're going to go up to um, 350 feet. Okay. So I'm going to take it up to 350. Oh, you can see all the inefficient rooftops. Yeah, so the pallet that we're actually in right now is, um, it's a lava, it's a, it's a glow lava, uh -huh. and that jerkin that you see, yeah. DJI has not yet fixed that. So that's just a thing. That's just a quirk. I mean, you can see on, on the roofs, like where they did uh, tarring. Yeah. That's, what a great thing, what a great thing. And uh, so tell us a little bit about your business. Well. Um, it's called Smoky Mountain Aerial Imaging, and what I do is I inspect power lines and cell phone towers, solar farms, uh, mostly infrastructure work, and we use this type of equipment to save large construction companies and large infrastructure companies, power companies, a lot of money. And then like on the weekends you show YouTuber dudes that are just curious. Yeah, on the weekends I play with it. <laughs> This has what's called a radiometric isothermal camera. Uh -huh. And it actually tells you the temperature of whatever's in front of it. That exact spot. That's cool. So this is your this is your isothermal your radiometric isothermal image. And it's the red is showing the hottest point in that image and the blue is the coldest. And you can expand your box. And I can go look at this car. And this will actually find that car for whatever temperature that you set. Currently, huh. currently I have it set for 76. And the reason I have that set for 76 is because of doing roof inspections for houses on the weekends. Mm -hmm. When you turn that up to 120, it'll actually show you the heat coming off of brakes, exhaust, engines, things like that. Let's fly over to Burger King and see if they've got their uh, 
burger things going. Because you can see I, uh, how hot the engine is on that truck. Yeah. Oh yeah. And then you can see the the air come or the you know off of the grill, <laughs> off yeah. of those two places. I actually had a, a FLIR one for the smartphone and got my dog taking a wee wee. Here that is. Oh, Henry. Wow. What? It flies just like an Inspire one. No, 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 no. Too much be responsibility. Careful. Be careful with your fingers. Yeah, yeah, down yeah, yeah. Here. Don't touch any of these. Okay, buttons. okay. Just your, just your. Oh, pinchers. this is really light. Okay. Go ahead. Really? I want to see you move it a little bit. Just do a little, little zoom, zoom around. Now, are you a pincher? No, I'm actually thumbs. <sighs> well, that's okay this time. <laughs> I'm gonna come back over here. Now that has a sport mode on it. <laughs> I don't want to do sport mode. I'm gonna come down here and get us, okay? There we go. Oh, one thing about this, even yeah. though it has all that sensors and everything, yeah. you have to land it yourself. You can't hand you, catch this one. You can hand catch it and you can't pull the lever down and let it, because it'll hit the ground and bounce back up 10 feet in the air. Yeah, we don't want to try that anyway. When you land that, you have to put the legs about six inches off the ground and just barely pull down on it. And okay. It'll, it'll land. Hey! Hi! This is the coolest thing ever. Ladies, do I have a hot butt? I do. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, man. Oh, I wanted to show you the precision, because everyone talks about precision. Yeah. How steady is that? Wow. Wow, that it really, that's rock steady. All right, he's gonna land it right on the GoPro. <laughs> cool, man. Thank you. Yes, sir. <laughs> Anytime. Well, that's it, everybody. What a fun day. My first time flying the Matrice. First time flying with a really pricey FLIR camera. Thank you, Brian. You're welcome. And uh, what's your channel? Smoky Mountain Aerial Imaging on YouTube and Facebook. It's the same. Link in the description. Link in the description. Mel. Mel? Who's Mel? Your beard. Thanks for bringing it. It kind of goes everywhere I go. Yeah, yeah. as the, the sun is setting and we are no longer allowed to fly because of civil twilight or whatever, we're going to say, buh, and bye. <laughs>